Well, good morning. It is day number two of our skiing adventures here. A little cloud behind us over there, down low. We'll be going back up on the Black Home side today. I don't know which way we're going to go, what we're doing, but it looks like it's going to be a nice day. Uh, blue skies, maybe some clouds will float by. This guy's all ready. He's got all of his stuff to go. Yeah. Just leaving my resort, which is behind me at that little tent there. That little guy's already up ahead somewhere. I don't really know. We'll go find him, okay? That's how we get down from our hotel. Look at the cool snow. Isn't that neat? So we're about to go launch up. And now we're headed back up. All right, we're on the first run of the day. Zero lines. The guy wants to do the run he started with yesterday, so why the heck not? Look at this, freshly groomed runs, woo! Yeah, you're fine. Yeah. Oh, you got to fix it? Yeah, so I can still feel wind coming up there. Oh, because your forehead is down now. Uh, or your head is down. Look at me. That's good now. Thanks, Turn your head to the other side. I can fix it at the top, okay? What was that called? Sunburn. Ah, I wonder if it's actually sunny here during the day. It's not sunburn, you think about it. It burns your legs. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. It burns your I, I love how you messed it up, my legs are still on it. Oh, you messed it up. I can fix it up. Oh. Oh, yeah, that was. I actually got like a 1% a panic. I've never actually seen that happen before. <laughs> I mean, I know we had plenty of time still, but it was like, oh, didn't know that could happen. Yeah, you can actually put both your feet up on that. I know. Um, I know you're little, so it doesn't really, you don't feel it, but I find uh, it hurts my knee a bit dangling. Now, and I'm older. Oh, 99, 100. 
101. I don't know how many there are. One in front of us. 62 behind, us, or we're on 62. Yeah, right? <laughs> Alright, we've just passed the tree line, or we're passing the tree line. I said we're passing the tree line, there's still a little bit. If I said we passed the tree line. Oh, a little bit. You're the little. Um, with oh, the. Literally no one. Nope. With the helmets, dude, and a hat, and uh, my bit of hearing problems, I have a hard time hearing. We're almost there, but it feels like a decade. Right? Yes. Look at those guys. Probably well, gonna be doing that. Just to skip that section and start going from there. Okay? You don't want to go back and forth, back and forth? No, I'm just gonna say, listen, after you do a first roundabout, if you're like, being a little careful, you can just dodge the rock. And then boom, you're on the next line. Right? Think about it. Yeah. It's simple. Just dodge the rock, or else your head will be dead. People who ski here all year keep their shitty skis and call them rock skis for springtime. Because you might scrape on top of rocks. So that person's going up there, that's another run. That's a blue that goes that way.
It's a fire burning my bum. Just a little bit. Luckily, it's not super bouncy. Yeah. Well, that's why I wasn't talking about that. Did we reach
Oh yeah! I find this works out well too holding like that. My maximum glute. Rocking that bro! Here. Right here. And we've already been on a blue top, so we're good to go. Yep, nice back and forth. Good job. Yeah, blue groomers aren't always... That's nice and chill, eh? Hey? That's what I'm saying, like, not all, like the, the rating doesn't always apply. second you go ahead
Lanky? Yeah, I know, it's so nice though, actually. I really like this run. Good job, buddy! I didn't know you were gonna go. Taking a break. Yeah, that must be another pathway that way. Sure. to that lift so you can go this way a little less steep too okay what are you doing what are you <laughs> you skate the whole day no problem all of a sudden you're just like
Fender speed all the way down, full speed. Sure you don't want to go to Glacier Express to take Ridge Runner? I do. All right, no problem. Oh, sorry, I thought it felt weird. Do not swing or bounce chairs, mad lad. Okay, the camera's still on my head. <laughs> oh, we were on Cougar Milk. We were on Jersey Cream. Oh, no, that's, yeah, yeah, right. We switched over to Cougar Milk. Yeah, because that is This one's called Staircase. I bet you it's that, that right there, that block. No, no, there's no blue skirts along the way. See, it's got the blue skirt. The black is that thing coming down there. Oh, yeah. I have my armpits open right now. Do oh. I help you or no? Yes. Your forehead's cold right now. Yeah. Can I pull your hat down? No, I, I can reach through. Okay. Yes, I took some photos on the way down. Hopefully, it'll demonstrate. Like, um, when I was waiting for you, I took like three photos to kind of show how far down you went. Yeah, no, it's not nope. Well, Jersey Cream was awesome on the top, right? It was uh, right here. It got a little bit different. Ah. Oh, this one's called, um, um, Yeah. Is it, was it? Oh my god. You know why? Here's yeah. just a drop. Yeah. No, no, that's I love how it like you're like, oh my god, we're going right up to the peak. Blow down. Woo! That's so funny to me. I guess here. That's so weird. The danger if you see unexploded bombs, don't touch them. <laughs> how many places in the world do you see a sign like that? Oh, this is a 
double black, Jersey ball. Yeah, because it's a half circle. Ball. Oh yeah, a little thinner spot. A little bit there. <laughs> Yeah, this one's a little bit longer. Um, unfortunately, our options are burgers and burgers, probably. Yeah. What? They are good, aren't they? I'm okay with having them. <laughs> Alright, so we take a left. Or a right. And we're currently heading our way back down the peak to peak on Blackcomb side to go over to Whistler. Me and the little guy this time, which is much better inside here. Uh, uh, then we can talk and be ourselves. You know, go down here, that's us going down. You can see on the uh, side over here, that's another gondola coming back up. Look at all of those trees and all of that snow. Does that look cool? So we're going. To... Ah, this is the ultimate Bob Ross. Now we're heading over here, and we're going to be going to Whistler all around. Maybe we'll try to hunt out and find the tunnel. Ski down a whole bunch of different areas. It's gonna be neat.
We are here in the Enchanted Forest. That's about level to show how steep everything is. Let's see, it's about 90 degrees. You can see up there, that's the Enchanted Forest. You notice from uh, any of my videos in the summertime, the uh, moss growing off the trees, that's the level that we're at right now. You can see all the different uh, runs through with the trees all the way down. We're just stuck here right now because uh, we got a ski pop off on a bit of a crash and uh, the angle of the snow is a bit hard. How big is that? It's incredible how quiet it is.
back to where we just get ready to be born. Okay. After you. Just in case, sometimes. So I go faster. You almost went into that freaking pool, man. Alrighty. Yep. I'm pulling down my face mask. It's not going to be windy anymore. Now you don't want to go that way. Ha! <laughs> Maybe you do. I don't know. Going down. <laughs> 